Anyway, I am Katie Rood. I'm initially well, from New Zealand. Um, I've been in the UK for a few years now, kind of following my dream to be a professional footballer. Um, apparently, this is the home of football, so it's where I found myself. And at a time, too, where the women's game is growing exponentially, it seems. Um, if you got your finger on the pulse of it, you, you would have seen it more in the media and and making waves um, in the public sphere, which is a pretty exciting time for for us as athletes. But also I find it kind of fascinating that women's sports is kind of reaching this uh, this new horizons at the same time as we're kind of facing <laughs> potential global collapse. Um, but I do think that, yeah, as a female in society, but also as an athlete, that we have some pretty uh, unique perspectives on the world. And for me, I think the most unique perspective I have is probably growing up in New Zealand and uh, getting to experience nature as <laughs> as it is, um, but also seeing the impact that humans, um, particularly agriculture, has had on, on the land. and. Um, yeah, I guess when I was about 17, oh no, about 20, I started to have some difficulties. I was trying to, I had two ambitions as a kid, basically. Um, I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to represent my country in a sport. And um, I, I was quite lucky. I was quite good at quite a few sports. Um, and it wasn't until I was about 18 that I decided that football would give me the opportunity to travel the world and hopefully represent my country as well. Um, but I always thought that the world I was going to see would be different to what it was. I think I've said it a few times, but like growing up watching David Attenborough documentaries and just being like totally at all with, with animals and, and the wilderness that the world possessed. I think I kind of expected to see that everywhere. Um, and then traveling to places and just seeing the human impact. Um, it's been quite shocking to me um, and just kind of recognizing that I'm privileged enough to kind of understand and experience these places. Um, and yeah, to make those connections and felt that I kind of had a duty and a responsibility to then talk about them. Um, and without really realizing that <laughs> I could make an impact until I started kind of getting asked um, by organizations and people within football to, to speak on these things, because it turns out that there aren't too many athletes talking about it. There certainly aren't many footballers speaking about it. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's been eye-opening. Um, it's been challenging, you know, still, um, with the opportunity to fly with the national team, uh, do, I, do I go on these tours? Do I not? But I've figured if I don't go, somebody else will, and they probably won't use their voice in the way I will. So that's kind of how I justify it at the moment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's still, you know, it's a tricky one. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit briefly about Football for Future. I'll just, I'll go through it quickly, but it's a new and exciting charity that really want to make sustainability cool in England, um, in England and then beyond, but, but starting here in England from, from grassroots to the, through to the Premier League. Um, it's a, a bunch of football fans, young guys predominantly, but they're looking to obviously diversify the group and, and engage lots of different people in it. Um, but yeah, they're super passionate. They have um, experience in climate science and, um, social kind of um, social media and stuff like that. And um, I'm just gonna share with you a little video that I did recently with them. Um, yeah, it's good. Cool, I'll make it a big screen. Okay, this is just a one minute and then that will be me done, I think. I'll just wrap it up after that. That's not the play button. Try that again. I'm Katie Rood, I am a striker for Southampton and New Zealand and I'm on the board of trustees at Football for Future. 
when I think about the climate, I automatically think about the natural world. And I'm a big fan of the natural world. I've seen its beauty and I think it's worth protecting. I'd love to see more footballers talking about it. I think we've seen recently with Marcus Rashford the power of social change that footballers can bring and it's good to see them recognising that now. And I think this conversation is the hot topic of our time. Yeah, for me, I think sustainability is something that you try to ingrain into all of your life choices. Um, so everything that I do, I try to look at it through a sustainability lens. Everything can become a little bit more sustainable and football's got its role to play too. I say to the football community that we are in extra time of extra time right now and we can't rely on our star player to, to win this game for us. We're going to need a full team performance. So yeah, that's a bit of the gist of Football for Future. Um, I'm on the, the board and kind of working with them with their climate champions um, part where we're looking to kind of engage footballers. In, in speaking about this and it's early days so there's some challenges ahead but um yeah exciting exciting times with the the power and potential that football has as a global community to make change so that's me.